The only way to say it is that Yaha, Yahoo, well, yeah. I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the only way to say that it. That would be the only way to say it. <laughs> of course, you have to say it. Yahoo had quite an outstanding performance in the first quarter. The company more than doubled last year's profits with results that they had not seen even during the dot com boom. Earnings per share for the quarter came in at 14 cents, three cents better than expected, six cents above the year ago number. Net income rose nearly 117% to $101 million. Revenue increasing a whopping 168% to $750 million. The stock currently trading sharply higher. It is up almost 15%, and it rallied in after hours trading as well. Last trade, 55.51. Joining us now from the company's headquarters in Sunnyvale, California, is Susan Decker, Chief Financial Officer. Susan, welcome back. It's nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, I, I may have flubbed up the intro, but, uh, you know, it's a great bottom line result. The street is rewarding the stock. And let's talk a little bit about what was behind the move. Your, your advertising revenue was simply phenomenal. What does that tell you about how your space is changing? Well, we're really pleased with the advertising line. That's, that's our biggest revenue line. And it's really validation. We think that the internet is offering marketers uh, a variety of different ways to meet their objectives, to brand effectively, and uh, also uh, all the way down to actually uh, converting sales and transactions. So we spent a lot of time uh, making sure that we had all the right assets and are operating in the right way to meet marketers' objectives, and we, we, we feel really good about our positioning, and, and uh, the results speak for themselves. Does it tell you anything about how the economy is coming back, how the Internet space itself may have changed uh, since the bubble burst at the end of the dot-com era and, and this new era is beginning? You know, the, 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 a big since uh, four years ago is that the underlying uh, clients that are driving our revenue streams, the kinds of revenue streams we have, are really built on the back of, uh, of very strong fundamentals. They're based on consumers actually spending money because they see great value in some of our products and services on the Internet. They're based on blue-chip uh, traditional marketers that are looking at ways to use the Internet to brand more effectively and target more effectively than they can on uh, offline media. And uh, it's, uh, it, we just have a very diverse uh, set of clients and, and feel that that's the thing we're most proud of, actually, beyond a, a great quarter, which mm -hmm. we're, we're pleased with. We really feel like we have the, uh, the, the, the business model in place and the clients and the consumers that can really create a sustainable growth story long term. And it wasn't just domestic. It was, it was the national that was also uh, performing better than expected. Absolutely. In fact, the, the, the strategy that we put in place a few years ago has, is really a global one. And we really focused on, on the U.S. first because we had to narrow our focus to make sure we could do things well. And uh, we've been expanding and extending a lot of the things that have been successful in the U.S. to a number of overseas markets. What about the threat from Google, which is now <laughs> going to go into the email space and uh, is a competitor on many different levels? But uh, there, there's some talk on the street that people inside Yahoo are, are worried about the Google threat. Uh, do you change the way you're doing things as Google starts to expand and change its model, or do you stick, stay the course? You know, we're all about trying to create a great user experience uh, for our consumers. And uh, competition's new to us. We've had some, some very uh, formidable competition throughout Yahoo's history, and we expect to for many years. Uh, that's actually great for consumers. It, it creates a high bar. Uh, we feel like uh, we have a lot of experience uh, in, in the mail area in particular. We have uh, uh, been listening to consumers for a long time. We know that they, they really appreciate the integration that we can offer with our uh, address and calendar and uh, messenger and photos, et cetera. So we, uh, we feel like we have a, good, uh, a lot of good history there, and, and we're always uh, looking for new ways to make sure we create value for them. All right. Thank you so much, Susan. Good to see you again. You too. Thank you for having me. Susan Decker, Yahoo's chief financial officer. Uh, the company mentioned trading sharply higher today. There's today's performance, but as you can see from the uh, chart, it's had a gradual increase for some months now.